Hey, hey, you guys, it's Molly. I am using, so I had the, I got the milk paint. A lot of people have been working with this. I got it on clearance, actually, at Joann's. Um, but let me see if I can focus it anymore. Yeah, so it's a casein-based paint, and um, I got it in milky white. It has a little bit of a funny smell to it, um, but people get similar results to the um, satin enamel. So I have layered a cup. I've just poured down the side of the cup. Um, these are really thin paints, and I'm just gonna do a rain pour down the middle, and we'll see what comes out. This is a leftover canvas that I had. I didn't like the design, so I'm gonna re-pour over it. And my lines don't ever hold as well when I'm using thinner paints, but we'll see what comes out. We'll see what happens here. And with the satin enamel, I know that the white used to take over. I'm worried that that's what may happen here in this. Because it's all white in the middle. Oh, I'm already starting to get a really cool cloud effect though. I might pour just the rest of this white around the edges here. Just to see what happens as the paint rolls over itself. Okay, wow, this is actually really pretty in the center if you guys can see already. Oh, my camera is about to fall over. That would have been another one for the blooper reel. Let me see if I can scan you in on this part here. It's really, really pretty already. So let me see. Make sure you're back in camera angle. I've done a couple of pours where they turned out absolutely amazing and then I realized that when I zoomed you in, I never zoomed you back out. Uh, yeah, and so you just got to see like this much of a pour. All right, so I'm gonna start tilting this around. I'm already starting to roll over myself for their pretty blue colors, so I don't know how that will turn out. I don't really want to lose all my purple and all my blue already. I know you guys probably won't be able to see the whole thing. This color combination is kind of reminding me of the collaboration that I did with Mixed Media Girl on the cloud pour that I did then. Oh, I've got one little, let me get my tweezers. I saw it. It's right there, I think. So I'm going to keep going down to this corner. So a ton of white. The white takes over. Shouldn't have used that much white. I'm going to twist you around so that you guys can see it as I go. But I've got these cool little bubbly cells coming up everywhere, which is really neat. And I only pour over canvases if the paint underneath was already very thin. If the paint was thick or if you had glue in it, um, for me at least, the I end up um, with my paintings cracking. And I think, not for sure, but I think it has to do with the fact that the glue or the paint, if it's thick, doesn't allow the paint underneath that's touched closest to touching it to, um, to breathe enough for the air to evaporate. So normally on a canvas, the it's breathable on the bottom so that the, even with gesso on it, so that it can breathe and evaporate, the bottom layer can dry as well. Because the cracking comes from your layers not drying the same. If your top layer dries and then your bottom layer is still wet, for a long period of time, then you'll get a pretty significant amount of um, potential for cracking. So there's lots of reasons why a canvas could crack though. You have too much airflow over it, your paints were too thick. Okay, I really like this, guys. I'm getting all these crazy little bubbly type cells over there. So I wonder how this one's gonna dry. I'll take you in for a close up. Okay, so we've got these little 
pops of color, but again, that white really took over. Um, and then I'll show you guys again once this dries, but there's all those little bubbles that I was talking about. There's no silicone in this whatsoever. And I love that corner right there with that little bit of gold and purple shimmering through. So yeah, I actually like it. It's an, I think it's a 16 by 20 or 18 by 14 canvas. I'll have to look. But yeah, I think it's just really, really pretty, really soft. And I'll see how this dries if any of those lines darken in it. So all right, you guys, just a little cloud pour for you, but with the folk art milk paint instead. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye. Okay, you guys, this is how this one dried. And in some little places, you can see it's where the color was trying to come through. I've got those. It's, it's like the tiniest little bit of like breaking. But this part is so smooth. This like that's not breaking. That's smooth. It's a very interesting outcome. But like right there, right there is kind of broken, but like that's not. That's just color coming through. I don't know. But anyway, thought you'd want to see the dried result. I might resin this one just to kind of get rid of it, or I might leave it as is and just varnish it. I mean, I haven't decided yet, but I wanted to show it to you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.